Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to extend my storage up here. The top box up here is uh, equipped with 14 drives and they're all running 750 gigabyte drives and the unit itself it can handle two terabyte drives so I want to be doing that. The bottom one, oh, actually there's three of them you can just see two of them I was pointing at the wrong one. This one is doing 750, this one is doing 2 terabytes disks and this one is not in use right now. I might get to that someday. But I want to upgrade the top one uh, from 750 gigabyte drives to 2 terabyte drives. Last time I did this with the middle one, I shut it down and exchanged all the drives and formatted and stuff like this. I want to see if I can do it on the fly, just exchange one drive at a time and if it will take that in. So this is this will be kind of a test thing and the data that is on it is not really that important. So I'm going to be trying that. Here we are at the computer and I want to show you one of the difficulties that you run into. This is Chrome and I've punched in the IP number for the management of this box. And um, the first thing it says is that my Java browser has no Java support enabled. And yeah, that's probably correct. Chrome has killed that and I can't use that anymore. And I'm on a Windows 10. So the other option is this wonderful Edge thing that is so fantastic, right? So let's uh, go that. Same thing. Piece of crap. I could go probably install Firefox and I will probably have to do that at some point. But until then I have a working system here on a remote server, kind of a jump server that I use. You have probably seen this before if you visit my channel. And I have the array here and I actually have a big nasty yellow light right there to change the disks up here. We can see the disks in the array. There's a lot of different disks in here. And number four here, which is actually number five, but number four, because it takes number zero as well, is unavailable. That's perfect. That's the first disk I can try and exchange then. So I'll go take out number four and we'll try and put in a two terabyte disk instead and see how that looks, right? Okay, number five, number f one, two, three, four, five, and it's not blinking at all, so this is probably the right disk, so I'll take that out. It's really weird that it's not lighting up yellow, that's actually not so good. So here is the disk, that's the one that has filled, so we're gonna take it out of the box. that it seems like I have had this out of this box before there's a broken label right there and I'll check this if it's uh, totally worthless but have a nice box here of all the hard drives and these are all two terabytes and they come from a um, EMC sand um, so we're gonna borrow some of those put this in like that ready to go back in let's see what happens here it is going back in new two terabyte drive a SATA drive my lab Okay, everything stopped. Is it checking it or anything? Yeah, now it's blinking there. It's checking the drive. Let's see what the computer says. This looks pretty awesome, actually. Look at that. It popped right up here, number four, and it's a revision PT05, and it sees 1.82 terabytes, 
and now it can even see the rounds per minute, how fast it goes, and it's a hot spare. There's another hot spare in the machine, that's number 5. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna exchange number 5 as well, put in a 2 terabyte there, and check if that's good, and then I'm gonna pop out one of the other drives, and see if it's okay with taking in one of the hot spares. So I'm gonna do that. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be able to use all this disk space before all the drives has been exchanged. And even then, I'm not sure how to expand the, the volume of it. But it's probably something that you do uh, probably around here. It will see some free volume. We'll, we can go in and check when we are done if it sees more space. But otherwise, this is probably a process that will be taking me several weeks. But let's go back here. Okay, that is popped in, as you saw. And it immediately popped up right here and it sees the drive, same model. And uh, just to start with, it said that it was offline, but then it popped to just be a hot spare. So now I'm gonna go take out one more drive. This is running a RAID 6. Let's just, if we can see that, RAID configuration. Oh, am I wrong? It's running RAID 50. Sorry. I can actually change the RAID. But if I change it to RAID 6, I can't change it back. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, so... I'm going to go back and see what happens if I take out a drive. That's kind of dangerous with this setup, isn't it? I would have liked it more if it was running RAID, RAID 6, but... Well, guess I'll just try. I guess I forgot to tell you what this is. This is an Dell Ecologic. PS 100 400e system. It's um, what is it? It's like if it's a 100, it's with 250 gigabytes, and if it's a 400, it's with 750 gigabytes. So this one was actually running. Uh, oh, there are my finger. This one was running like a 400e. So I have the next disc ready. So I'm gonna take out this first drive and it's gonna be complaining in there oh this is this is rather dusty I'm not gonna pop this in just yet I want to see if it's good inside the computer but that's another two terabyte drive ready for for it okay I just popped that uh, actually out and it took in number five this one as um, now that went online and somewhere I'm hoping that I can see the rebuild going on. It's complaining down here. Array has fewer hot spares. Fewer Array has fewer spare drives than expected. It took the new drive in right there. I want to see it rebuilding somewhere. So status, it's missing that one. Check. And over here it's progress 0%. Okay, I'm gonna pop that one in again. The new two terabytes just to not have that big cross and the alerts going on. And I wanna see some progress rebuilding somewhere. Okay, I popped that in and oh, it I just missed it. It was still with a red with a cross when I get got in here. So, but now it changed it to be a spare. Okay. So now I've changed three of the 14 drives to two terabytes and I'll go hunting for where it says that it's doing something. Status, oh, 1%, okay. So when it reaches 100, I can go exchange the next drive. That will probably be a while. Okay, it has completed and that took four or five hours, I guess. So it took quite a while. But now it's all good again. We can go over here and see the disks. 
now number one or number zero is a hot spare and number what is this number four is a hot spare so now i'll go change disk number one down here to another two terabytes and it will start the process right over okay ready with the new disk we're gonna pop out number two give it a a little bit of time to find out that it's missing a disc and um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit with popping in the next one it has to miss this one before getting a new one in theory but, um, well I think that's long enough let's see what happens there we are and it's gonna be working on that for another four to five hours so um, I think I'm gonna end this video here so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye